Springboard Roadshow Foundation. Legacy and Legacy. Be inspired. Be motivated. Be challenged. Today I'm talking about a very interesting topic and sometimes you don't like to look at it but it happens and it's very good. I'm talking about we failing. How many of us have failed before? How many of us liked failing? You liked failing, you enjoyed failing. No, nobody likes failing. We all like that thrill of success. But failure is an integral part of life. And when we see the prospects of F, sometimes we really don't like it. But today, we will look at failure. What is failure? Why we can, what we can learn from failure? And then most importantly, how can we move forward after we have failed? So... We go with this great um, quotation which says that great success depends on great risk. Failure is simply a common byproduct. How many of us will fail if we don't try anything? When we try to reach beyond ourselves, it is a great try, but sometimes we will fail. But today we would know that Despite the failure, we can move on and still believe in trying. Because when we try, we are able to do, to, to do great things in our lives. Failure is simply lack of success at adventure, at a project, at even your exams. Things that you are doing is simply lacking. And then sometimes if you are in school, you may one day receive a script from your, from your teacher, which has F. With a circle around it. And yourself, when you look at the F, you say, oh God, I have failed. In fact, it's, um, I, I, I remember when I was in um, school, I used to be a very great math student. And it's true, I used to have 96% because I liked my teacher. And then one day during the 80s. This was called the Agege um, Exodus. One day we were in class. The next day the teacher didn't come again. And they brought another teacher. Now, my previous teacher was exciting, was fun and everything. This teacher, shall I say, should not have gone into teaching. He was boring. He was, he was, I mean, he, he it was as if he, could, he didn't want to be in the classroom. And therefore, I didn't want to be in the classroom either. In one term, in one term, I moved from 96 to 46. I mean, from, from A to D. That was close to... And, 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 I never, and, and I never recovered. That's the truth. So basically, in my maths, for all levels... I was the O-level generation. Most, some of you are SSS, but I am A-level generation. In my maths, I had, I think, either seven or eight for maths in O-levels. For university, you need to pass your maths in order to get to the university. So I did what? I failed, didn't I? Because I couldn't have gone to university, so I had to write that maths again. Anyway, that was, that, that, that was something I could do easily. But the main thing is that failure is part of life. Failure does happen. But what we need to do is what we, how we pick ourselves up from that failure that did occur in our lives. Right? And therefore, sometimes it's just a process of the thing is going on, you are go doing something, and maybe the process that you use to get to your destination is not right. You are supposed to go from step one to two to three to four to five. And then by some miracle, either you think you are Jesus or you can walk on water or something. So you move from um, that down there and you try to jump all these steps and come here. And you miss the step and then you go falling down the steps. 
you have failed and so what it could be sometimes too that yes you wanted to get to be the um let, 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 let's say what do you want to be in future say our first gentleman oh wow you want to be a lawyer fantastic so you want to be a lawyer i think there are different types of lawyers right so maybe you decide that you want to be a litigation lawyer and then the outcome for you would be like either Kizito or right now he says he's moved from the litigation to now arbitration. And then as you're doing it, you realize that um, based on maybe your communication skills or something, the litigation is not going very well. So what happens? You have missed come the outcome of becoming a good litigation lawyer. What's next? Do you stay there and say, because I wanted to be a litigation lawyer, I've tried and tried and tried and tried, and still I have not been able to succeed. Therefore, life is not fair. I am not good, and therefore there's nothing I can do with my life. No. Failure, as they say, is the person who refuses to try again after he or she has failed. Because once you fail, once you say, I have failed, that means you say you have come to the end of the road and there's no more place for me to continue on this road. What you can say, as the title of my thing said, is say that indeed I have something that I call um, great expectations or what I will say that is just an experiment. It is said that Tom Thomas Edison tried over a thousand experiments now, can you imagine, he tried a lot of experiments. Whether it was a thousand or not, nobody really knows. But let's say when he reached the 600th experiment, he said, well, you know, I have done this thing for 600 times. I think this thing can never be done and therefore I stop. Number one, he would not get the credit. It is likely that one of his students, somebody that he's working with in the a lab would continue and get the, the credit for himself. But most importantly, we would have taken a longer time to reach information age than we would otherwise have reached if we, Thomas Edison had given up. And therefore, yes, indeed, we can fail in the process of trying or we can fail when we get to the end. And that is it. But what happens? Where can we say we, we, where can we point out and say that we did fail or what we did didn't work well. Sometimes we do not anticipate what will happen on the road. On our way to this place, whilst we were coming, I presume for some reason that the, the airline didn't really leave on time. I don't know why. And therefore, I said I was going round Accra to do some things before coming to the airport. So I failed to anticipate the time I was supposed to arrive at the airport. So I am there and I get a call from Kizito. Comfort, are you going with us? And I say, yeah, I am. But you're not at the airport. Are you almost here? And I said, well, I'm, I'm parking. Why? They are closing the counter in five minutes. I almost failed to make it here. Sometimes so we don't perceive what is going on. You do, you're doing your stuff. You realize that uh, things are not going well. Yet, you don't see that the road is going to lead to failure. And therefore, you keep on going, doing the same thing over and over again. And before you realize, boom, you've got a huge accident. You failed. Or, as um, my picture shows you, sometimes we dream. We have big dreams. And yet, we refuse to get up from our bed. So we are lying down and dreaming and and, and saying that in future I'll be very, very rich. So as the man is there, he's lying in his bed comfortably and he's dreaming about money. Will it happen? He will fail. Not because I'm cursing him, but simply because no action, no achievement. It, it's, it's, you, you work to get the achievement. If you don't work, nothing happens. So no matter what dreams you have, if you fail, to act on the dreams, if you fail to plan for it, if you fail to prepare for it, if you fail to activate the, the needed things that you have to do, you will not succeed and you will fail. So why do we fail? Sometimes we simply are not persistent. 
we are there, we are looking at stuff, and then the first problem comes, and then we say, well, you know what? Uh, this thing is not for me. Then we try something else. Ah, uh, this thing is not for me. Then we try something else. Ah, uh, this thing is not for me. And you keep on moving from one thing to the other. As uh, saying goes, the rolling stone gathers no moss. You need to be persistent because sometimes failure will come your way. And if you don't persist, you will not get the necessary rewards that you are hoping to see. Sometimes you know what you want to do, but then you yourself, you do not believe in yourself. You lack the conviction that it can happen for you. And so you are there and you are trying and then you are like, hmm, okay. You do half-hearted efforts because you lack conviction that you will succeed. Nelson Mandela in our book, The Lord Madiba and the Eagle, was convinced that indeed they can build a rainbow nation from a South Africa that he was in, a South Africa that was divided by race, a South Africa that a black person could not go where whites lived and therefore lived all his life, worked all his life, sacrificed his life so that he can, he can see that dream where blacks and whites are living together, respecting each other and actually creating a nation together as we have in South Africa today. What are your convictions? Do you lack the conviction? Or are you prepared to sacrifice your all for your convictions that you have? Sometimes we rationalize. The thing is going well. Okay. Okay. It's, 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 it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. Well, I think at this moment I will stop. Okay. Um, all right. I think I, 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 I did a little and what I've done is enough. Meanwhile, you, you set out from the beginning of the, this, you are climbing these stairs to get to the top here. You have reached the second step and say, well, I think it's okay. You have failed. Don't rationalize what you have been able to achieve so far. Move on and get to where, to the top of the stairs that you wanted to get to. We made a mistake and that is part of life. We make mistakes every day in our lives. Every day, every time. Sometimes even the way we talk to somebody, sometimes the way we speak to somebody, but we've made a mistake. Do we try to say, okay, because I've made a mistake, that is it. Or will we learn from our mistakes? If we don't learn from our mistakes, unfortunately, we'll do that again, again, again. Someone says that, Madness, is the, def the definition of madness is trying to do the same thing over and over again and achieving different results. That's madness. So if you made a mistake and you go through the same process, knowing that um, oxygen, now I'm going to do chemistry, plus hydrogen, two parts of hydrogen will give you water. And you try one part of oxygen and one part of uh, hydrogen and believe that you are doing a new type of um, water. I don't know. So change the formula. Learn from the mistake and say that, well, rationally, whatever, whatever happens, we, we are able to, we have to be able to change what we are doing and therefore we'll learn from it. When the um, offer is made to you, when you go there, you say, oh, I'm a disciplined person. I work without any um, super, little supervision. And then there's nobody in the office and you are asked to do something and then you do the Facebook, when you finish with that, then you go to Twitter. When you finish with Twitter, then you go to Instagram. You finish with Instagram, then you go to um, what's, WhatsApp. You finish with WhatsApp, what else do you go to? Skype. Ah, so that one is sweet. Oh. You see the person, you are talking, and then whilst you are talking, you can do the, you type, and you keep on going on and going and going. And then before you realize, it's about three o'clock. Meanwhile, the job that you are given, you require constant work, five hours. So you keep on postponing the work, postponing the work. At the end of the month, you have done this amount of work. And then the person comes to evaluate what you have done. The person says, well, you've not done your work well. And therefore, you have, what? Failed. It's, it's a point of failure. We have to be self-disciplined. We have to, be, to, to say to ourselves that, um, as Albert says, the ability to do something 
that you are supposed to do, whether you like it or not. You don't want to do the thing, but because you have to get it done, you discipline yourself and get it done. Poor self-esteem. You are asked to come and address um, an audience, and, and you are coming up the stairs. Hey, why would they listen to me? And where my family is from? And you, you give all sorts of excuses why you are not the best person for that particular role. And you have a poor self-esteem, a, a, a poor self-image of yourself. But guess what? Life, as one of my slides will show you, is full of people who really, technically, should not have achieved what they did. But they believed in what they had. They believed in what they had to do. And therefore went beyond all the, all, all, all the obstacles that were before them and achieved great things. And we look at them today and we admire them. And we say, oh, I wish I could be like them. You have to believe in yourself. Because nobody, and I repeat, nobody can believe in you. It's only you and nobody else who can say that this is what I can do, this is what I have to do, and therefore I have the ability to achieve my goals. Nobody will do it for you. You have to do it yourself. And finally, sometimes we are fatalistic in our outlook. We say, whatever would be, would be. You see, I was, saying, I was talking like this, whatever would be, would be. And then we slouch and then we look at life and we think that life is so unfair. Truth, you must know where you are, where your outcome, where, where you, you make the most um, impact in your life. Where are the people? Don't have a single plan or a single idea that this is the one that will work. And therefore, if that doesn't work, no other issue. Once again, to this, same, to, to this trip to White was a very interesting one. One of us, I wouldn't mention who it was. One of us didn't get to the, to the, to the airport on time. And therefore, we were doing Sunyani and then driving up here. So the plan was Sunyani and up here. And we didn't meet the Sunyani place. That person didn't get to the Sunyani because it was, was a bit late. And so, do we do Tamale to Wa? Or do we do Kumasi to um, Sunyani and continue? What do we do? We, we, we did the brainstorming because the, the, the idea was to get to where? Wa. We were coming up. So this is Wa. We we're coming up the stairs. We we're coming and then we fell off the first step. So how do we do it? Do we go this way and come this way? We had to get here because no matter what, we had to see the people of Wa. And therefore, we decided to do Kumase, drive to Tama, um, um, Sunyani, and then come up to Wa. There is a plan, but the plan can be diverted due to circumstances beyond your control. If those circumstances come, that doesn't mean you should be derailed and not be interested in achieving your goal. Still go for it. Still try and see how can I reach there. Despite the fact that my parent just died. Despite the fact that I got an F. Despite the fact that the company that I was working with just went backdrop. Despite the fact that something somehow has been thrown into the mix and therefore my plan is not going according to what I said it would go. I have a little video for you. And in that video, we'll see people who defied the odds. And despite those odds, they were able to achieve great things. Let's listen. Okay. So, my plan was to show you a video. But my plan is not working. That is a failure. And so, what happens? This is a practical example about how life can be. I have done the best, done all, tried the video, everything has gone well, but for performance, it just didn't happen. So what happens? Well, we look at why failure is good for success. 
Failure simply means that you did try. As in just now, our video has failed. But it doesn't mean that we didn't try. We did try. But we have done it over and over again, and we realize that it's not working. So what, what? guess what? We have failed, but we'll try again another time. When we fail, we realize that indeed the plan that we're using was not good. So we go back to the drawing board and see how can we change it? How can we make it such that we'll be able to succeed the next time around? That is a, is, is, is a tool. Secondly, success guarantees you saying that, look, it didn't work. So how can I do it such that next time that what I wanted to show you will be able to be seen by everybody or somehow I can depict it? Do I have to act? Do I have to bring some, a group of people to make some, some movie for you, mini movie, to show you what do I have to do? And that is what I have to do next time. And most importantly, when you fail and you learn from that failure, you build character. The character that says that despite what has gone on, despite the things that have happened, I've been able to rise from the ashes. Like how the basketball star Michael Jordan, when he went to try out, he was bounced by his coach. They said, number one, he was too short. Number two, he just couldn't make it. And he decided that no matter what, I will do it. And therefore, despite the odds, he went and became one of the best basketball stars we've ever known. He says that I have failed more than um, 3,000 times, and yet I still try, keep on trying. He says that I have been given the opportunity to end the game when there was just seconds left and everything was left to me. But I failed, and I learned from my failure. How do you treat failure? Do you see fa failure as the end of the road? Or you see failure as an opportunity to improve on your character, to improve on what you have to do, to improve on what you give out so that people will look at you and say, it's despite the 24 million people who live in this country and despite, let's say, the 2,000 2, lawyers that are available in this country, I want to deal with no other person but my honorable gentleman, because he is a person of character. How do you see uh, um, failure? And how do you bounce back? How do you come back from failure? Well, try new approaches. If that one didn't work, try something else. Something else would work. Decide what is important, what is not important. The important thing is I wanted to come up the stage the unimportant thing is that I wanted to have, a sh um, I wanted to do it in the faster place. So therefore, I'll just try and do it one step at a time instead of the two steps at a time that I had wanted to do it. Right? I, what perspective did I go into that thing? Did I, how did I look at it? Did I look at it from this, this angle? When I looked at it, I, tr I thought this was what was needed. But when I tried it again, I realized that this particular angle would not work. And therefore, I have to do something else. Therefore, change. sometimes you need to change your perspective about how you are looking at the issue. Okay? What problem do I have? Is it a problem of communication? Is it a problem of not knowing how, how to speak depending on the person I'm talking to? Or is it a general problem whereby my English is not good and therefore I need to learn more words, I need to read more books, I need to generally improve on my general communication skills? What is the problem? Narrow down the problem and try to find it. Guess what? People in my, sometimes people in my office say that I'm too fastidious. I mean, I want something to be done and I want to be done in a particular way. And if you don't do it that way, then you're in trouble. But I have learned depending, and the re relevant word here is depending on the circumstances. I'm not always a perfectionist. Sometimes I'll let things slide because of the circumstances. Sometimes too, you cannot afford to do that because if you do that, you will become mediocre. 
Therefore, learn to know when you need to vary your, your, the, the, um, your, your call to perfectionists, to being a perfectionist. And then you'll be able to um, see when you can let certain things go or when you can um, hold somebody responsible for what had happened or hold yourself responsible for what had happened. Don't label yourself as a failure because you only fail when you decide I am a failure. You only fail when you decide that I am a failure. When you look in the mirror, say to yourself, all things being equal, this is who? My life. And if it is my life, I am in charge. And if I am in charge, I must make sure things work out well. In conclusion, Abraham Lincoln says that always bear in mind that your own resolution to succeed is more important than any other. Abraham Lincoln is a guy who failed more than the average politician. And yet, he went on to become one of the greatest presidents America has ever seen. Who are you? How do you see failure? What will you come against? And what will you say? Will you give up and say, well, I'm not the Lord Jesus who can rise from the grave. I'm not Madiba who can allow himself to go to jail for 27 years before I come back. And therefore, I'll just lie on the ground and go through life. Or would you say that indeed, I am Jesus because I have his, his calling. I can look at the example of Madiba, on the example of Nelson Mandela, and say that despite what odds life may throw against me, despite how long I have to be under, I will rise again. And most importantly, people in my generation, people in my lifetime, and people after me will say that indeed, there once lived a man in Wa, there once lived a woman in Wa, and that person brought hope. That person brought life. That person brought change. That person brought advantage to the people of Wa. Thank you very much.